year 2020 has made us realize the ill effects of climate change. With COVID-19 crisis, we have learned the importance of outdoors and the environment overnight. The world came to a halt and all of us witnessed how nature heals itself when we don't meddle with it. In India, we saw Himalayan ranges from as far as 200 kilometers due to a drop in air pollution. We also saw the river Yamuna restore its quality when garbage stopped pouring in. In this way, COVID-19 is a warning as well as an opportunity to start environmental conservation at a much faster rate. Large-scale deforestation was happening around the world even before COVID-19. But did we know the magnitude of these events? What if I told you that we lose forests equal to a football field every second round the clock, which means that by the end of this talk, we might have lost forests equal to around 500 football fields globally. Climate change is happening as we speak and we are running out of time to manage it. A planetary emergency is knocking on our doors and thus every second, every effort counts. With our busy schedules and countless duties we perform as humans, environmental conservation doesn't feature on our priority list. Keeping this in mind, we developed a web platform called www.sankatharu.org where it takes only two minutes to plant a tree from anywhere in the world. On this platform, people can log on, pick a location based on their preference and plant trees wherever they wish. Every tree comes with a geotag which shows its exact location and updates are provided from time to time. This means that now a tree becomes a great gifting option to celebrate occasions and a thoughtful move for the environment. Planting trees was easier 30 years ago as there was an abundance of water and land resources. However, now we are facing a crunch of resources as water levels have depleted. There is lesser land available due to diversion for other uses. And even weather patterns don't follow a set trajectory which makes it more difficult. We need to be therefore mindful of how we use the resources. It is important to use them judiciously and use innovative techniques to not just increase plantation but also increase survival rate of the plants. Today we have tools and tricks in the form of newer technologies that can help resolve challenges. These technologies can be used to prepare us better for plantation and also help us monitor and nurture the plants more efficiently. We have leveraged following technological solutions in our various afforestation initiatives and now we are sharing it with wider audience to make it replicable across the planet. So the first solution which we have adopted is rainwater harvesting by building big ponds at plantation site which are favorable for rainwater collection. It has helped us tremendously as it uh, recharges the water table and puts less stress on the water resources available in the region. And the second solution um, lies where water no matter how widely available has to be used judiciously. So we deploy micro drip irrigation system at plantation sites, which ensures maximum efficiency and minimal wastage. Uh, for example, in Thar Desert, where rate of evaporation is extremely high, filling pits with water is futile. Most of the irrigation pumps run on electrical power, but conventionally, electricity is not only expensive but also not sustainable therefore solar pumps are used which are off-grid structures and are excellent source of renewable energy they are also cost effective and can be used in remote areas uh, similarly use of drones came as a eureka moment for us traditionally surveying mapping and marking of an area for plantation took several days and still delivered inaccurate results However, drone survey and mapping does the job is less than 30 minutes for large tracts of land, which makes plantation not only faster, but also saves crucial person hours to prepare and nurture saplings. Similarly, seed bombing a technique that mimics birds way of dispersing seeds across regions helped us take advantage of technology and bomb seeds during monsoons. 
since monsoons are conducive for germination it helped us cover wider tracts of land in himalayas and areas which are inaccessible and where mass mobilization of community involvement is not possible at the same time drones release minimal carbon footprint and are viable in terms of portability and reliability we also leverage the internet of things iot and use micro sensors which help us to determine soil moisture temperature and humidity levels at each plantation block this information enables us to make judicious decisions related to irrigation and nursing of plants and hence uses resources more responsibly using these technologies led to our understanding the technology should be used in harmony with nature we must not forget that our sustenance relies on the sustenance of our planet and we have to focus more on conserving whatever limited resources we are left with forest fire is another worldwide phenomena which poses a global challenge they are as old as the forest themselves and have been reported in brazil russia indonesia australia africa india and many other countries forest fires destruct the flora and fauna of the region disturb the biodiversity ecology and the environment leading to an increase in air pollution in most of the incidents tracking forest fire is difficult due to the large terrain and therefore there are delays in deriving a fire fighting plan we at sankaltaru have been using a technology solution from nasa called firms fire information for resource management system which provides active fire data for near monitoring through satellite fire maps in uttarakhand himalayas we have formed a 24 cross 7 forest patrolling team led by our operations director the team consists of the students and villagers of the region who serve as eyes and ears to avoid such mishaps with proactive planning and enhanced community participation the program has been a success in reducing the forest fires it has further been validated by nasa firms itself where it's quite visible that wherever our team operated the forest fire incidents occurred in single digits or were none prakriti rakshiti rakshata a famous sanskrit saying in this regard translates to nature protects when she is protected let this motto guide us in all our conservation efforts from here on and we would be glad to share our knowledge resources with the rest of the world so keep planting trees and making planet greener thank you so much